So right now, what we're going to look at is how do we figure out the compound if we are only given the name? Now, the most essential step of this entire process, and I cannot emphasize this enough, is write out the ions, okay? So depending on the compound, sometimes it tells you the charge right in the problem. Those make your life pretty easy. Other ones, you might have to reference your periodic table. Now, I told you guys when we were first doing the periodic table, that every element in group one makes a plus one charge because they all have one valence electron, okay? Every element in group two makes a plus two ion. Then we skipped the middle. And then group three is plus three. I said carbon's kind of weird, plus or minus four, but, you know, we'll talk about that. And then minus three, minus two, minus one, and noble gases don't form ions. Now... My metals, if I give you potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, francium, barium, it doesn't matter. We could easily figure out if it's a plus one or a plus two. My transition metals, on the other hand, have multiple ions that they can form. So sometimes when we're looking at compounds, we might be looking at the fact that it says iron three. Now, these three Roman numerals tell me that iron in this compound has a plus three charge. But if it were to just say magnesium, we can find magnesium, and we know magnesium is a plus two. And then we're going to do the same process that we did before. So, for example, if I were to give you the name strontium, chloride, okay? So we're going to unpack this right now. Strontium fluoride. So strontium is SR. Well, I find SR. It's in group two. That means it has a plus two charge. Fluoride. Well, fluoride's over here. It's a halogen. It's going to gain one to become like neon. So it's going to have a negative one charge. So we crisscross our charges down. And we end up with SRF2. So we were able to figure out both of those just based off the placement on the periodic table. Now, if I were to give you something like copper to chloride, versus copper one chloride. For both of these compounds, my anion is chloride. Chloride is a halogen, it's in group 17. It has seven valence electrons. Therefore, it's going to gain one to make a negative one charge. So in both of these compounds, my anion is Cl negative. Now, in compound one, it says copper two. That means I'm gonna have Cu plus two as my cation. In my second compound, I have copper one. That means it's gonna be Cu plus one or plus, however we want to write it, it's fine. And for each of these compounds, all we're gonna do is we crisscross again, and we have CuCl2 is copper two chloride, and copper one chloride is just CuCl. So just that slight difference in the name, that Roman numeral is gonna give me two different compounds. So really make sure you're paying attention to one, what is it asking me for? What is the name? And two, if it has the Roman numerals, that is going to be the charge on your cation.